Hi, it's Clark. And Emily. On Sailing Vessel Temptress. And today we're answering another one of your questions. Richie Rich asks, what do you do about cars? Back home in the United States, in Florida, we do have cars. We have two of them. Yep, we have a old uh, 1985 and a half Porsche 944. That's Emily's car. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, I, I switched from that to an old man's car a few years ago. I realized that uh, a great deal can be had if you can fix them on a uh, S-Class Mercedes. The W220 is the one I went with. Mm -hmm. I think it's the last of the good ones. So I have an S500 that I drive or we drive. Um, when we want something bigger. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep the Mercedes because it's nice to have a car when you come home. But if anybody wants a Porsche 944, there's one for sale in Florida. It's a fun car. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's an old car, uh, yeah. but it's fun and it's still in pretty decent condition. Yep, uh, except for the paint because it's been in Florida for a while. No rust, but uh, it's any color you want it to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's what we do for cars back home. Out here, our car is a 12 foot aluminum dinghy, uh, right. which we'll upgrade to a new, we'll get a new car, <laughs> a new dinghy um, before we go out a little bit farther. But this car is, this car, this dinghy is 60 years old. Um, it's got an outboard motor on the back and we use it to get around lots of places. Yep, uh, it truly is your car out here. This is how you get groceries, how you visit friends, everything you do is a car for. And the yacht kind of becomes your house once you anchor her someplace. Uh, you don't move it around to get stuff because, well, it's awfully big and there's a lot of places it just can't go. You mm -hmm. can't take the yacht to the beach. It won't fit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, the, when we are on land, if we want a car, per se, if we want to get around land travel, there are a few options. Uh, some cruisers carry bicycles, uh, folding bicycles usually, but a lot of... Mm -hmm. Cruisers give away their bicycles later in the trip because they get sick of uh, toting them around. Um, you can also rent bicycles and scooters and cars in more um, settled places if you stop at particular places. Um, and we've found that a lot of places in the Bahamas, which may not be the case for the rest of the world, you can hitchhike. Um, and it's it's actually hard to walk down the road without somebody opening their window and saying, "Hey, do you need a ride? You know, where are you going?" Um, and helping you get there. It's really kind of a Kind of a small town yeah. feel down here so it's easy to get around and if you've got friends who are ashore um, we get rides sometimes from friends who take us places sure when we need propane and things like that mm -hmm. um, friend howard just picks us up and takes us there so mm -hmm. we've got a very convenient life car wise here societies are either car societies or they're not the u.s is definitely a car society and because of that if you don't have a car, I don't even know how you'd feed yourself. You couldn't get to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Everything's spread out. Uh, there's like really no way to walk to where you need to go. Uh, transport like taxis and such. Uh, I guess it's cheaper now with Ubers, but they're relatively expensive. Mm -hmm. If you get to a Central American country where it's just not a car society, a lot of people simply don't have cars. Mm -hmm. They've developed infrastructure for that. So there are taxis that are reasonably priced. There are things called collectivos, and uh, you it's just a guy with a van, and you hop in the van for a nominal price, just a few bucks, and he basically takes you anywhere you'd want to go, right to where you want to go. There's buses. There are chicken buses, we call them, which are like old American school buses that uh, no longer probably pass safety inspection, and they got down there, and they're no safer now, but they're well decorated. Uh, and and they're literally like sometimes pennies, like like 75 cents to, to go someplace. Mm -hmm. There's first and second class buses. It's kind of how you get from country to country. And they're wonderful. They're these big Mercedes buses with only three seats across. Great, huge, just like lazy boy chairs and the darn things. Uh, movie playing, someone bringing you drinks. And since it's a big heavy bus, the road is smooth for you. Uh, and that... Last I was down there was quite a while ago, but it was like 30 bucks would get you from the capital of one country to the next country. Mm -hmm. So you can always get around without a car once you're out of the U.S., I found. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we've got our cars back home with uh, minimal insurance on them, and we'll have just the one car uh, after we get back uh, to the States this time. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do for cars. That's what we do about um, cars. Uh, thanks, Richie Rich, for asking this question. If you have questions or comments or want to talk more about cars, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, we look forward to answering more of your questions soon. Goodbye. See you later.